Hello everybody and welcome to Zero Mile ADV, a true beginner's guide to adventure motorcycling. Today we're going to talk about why I think every beginner needs to know about this helmet brand, especially if you are looking to get an adventure helmet. So with that, let's get into it. Okay, it's a bit windy. I've tried to hide the mic best I can. I got the dead cat on there, so hopefully you don't get too much wind noise. But let's talk about this. First things first, I'm not in any way sponsored by this helmet brand. I paid full retail for this. Actually, not full retail. I got a bit of a discount because it was last year's color model. And it's kind of nice because it's the high vis. Hopefully people see me a little better when I'm on the road. And they didn't know I'm making this video. I just think this is a really great brand. It's basically price for the money. So if you're looking, if you're new, and you're looking for the best bang for the buck, I think you cannot go wrong with the LS2 carbon helmet. A couple of things why, I think A, it's ECE rated. So this one, this one here is an ECE 2205. I think the new ones are probably 2206 um, that are coming out so they probably even have a better safety rating. Full carbon construction. I had the Climb Cryos carbon helmet before, almost double the price of this helmet for basically what I paid for this one and it doesn't even have all the same features. So the, um, and I think some of the best features of this helmet are the visor system. So this visor is probably the clearest, best like optically correct visor that I've had on a helmet. I have a shoe berth helmet that I ride like on my Road King to just for like long highway days and big like road miles. And I will tell you, this thing is super clear. And as somebody who wears glasses, maybe it's just with like my vision and my glass, my prescription, and it just looks really clear. But the visor is super clear, way better than the climb was. It also comes pin lock, so you can drop the pin lock in there if you're worried about fogging it. Also, as somebody who wears glasses, the biggest thing for me is it has the drop down sun visor. Huge deal. I can't talk about this enough because I don't want to have to pack a pair of prescription sunglasses, put those in my pocket if I stop somewhere, put my regular glasses on. I just want the sun protection built into my helmet. It just makes things so much easier and I can carry way less stuff, which is awesome. Um, this helmet also has a like a massive amount of vents on it. Uh, two on the top here, you can close the back, the front's off. Um, it's got vents on the side and then this cool exhaust system to help um, here and out the back to help suck when uh, the hot air out of the helmet as it's going and it gets creates that like that negative turbulent air pressure to suck heat out of the helmet um, also a vent up front it's got the quick release chin strap which is also big there's a lot of helmets that have the d-ring which i don't like because if you're doing stuff it doesn't make it easy to get the helmet on and off but i just can't say how much how awesome uh, this ls2 helmet is it might be one of the best adventure helmets that's out there as far as like features bang for the buck I got the full carbon one because it looks awesome. You can save a few bucks and just the, get the composite model. I think it's even like $150 cheaper and it's the same weight. So getting the carbon one really doesn't save you any weight. I think there are some addi additional safety impact like the way carbon shatters and disperses the, the impact versus like composite, but it's probably negligible. negligible. I think you get the exact same rating. This one just looks cool because it's carbon. And so, yeah, I sold my Climb uh, Cryos helmet because it was just a little too big after it had broken in. The nice thing is it held its retail value pretty well. So I was able to basically sell that and then get this helmet. And I think I even still have a few bucks left over because I got this one on discount because it was like a older color model, which is like the high vis, which doesn't bother me so much because maybe people see me a little better. But yeah, with that being said, the short of it is if you're new to adventure riding and you need, you obviously need a helmet, I think the best bang for the buck and probably one of the best helmets out there is the LS2 Explorer. I'm not sponsored by them. I just think it's awesome. When a company is basically giving you really good value for the money, I think you should know about it. And this thing so far has been awesome. So as I keep riding in this into the summer this year, I'll let you know how all the venting works this summer, how, it, how the heat comes out and give you a later, an update later on, but so far, I think you should definitely check this out. If you've made it this far, please leave me a comment below. What's your favorite adventure helmet? Do you think there's something even better that gives you best bang for the buck over the LS2? Leave a comment below, hit subscribe, tell your friends, the notification bell, all that jazz. And until next time, stay safe out there.